Today we're talking about coaching and specifically what is coaching or maybe more specifically, what is it not? So I'm doing this series on coaching and, and we're going to cover a number of topics. We're going to cover what the roadmap looks like, business planning, accountability, your comfort zone, knowing your numbers, daily discipline, progress tracking, obstacle maneuvering, coaching for new agents, coping, coaching for experienced agents, coaching for teams. So there's a lot of stuff to cover. And maybe I just answered some of the question about what is coaching, but more so I want to cover what coaching is not. Or to help you have a little perspective, because there's coaches, mentors, trainers, brokers, and there's a difference. So let's look at that. Mentors typically are assigned to a new agent or an agent that's entering a new aspect of the field. And you would be attached to a mentor for, let's say, two or three or five contracts or attached to a mentor for six months. And it tends to be very transaction oriented. There's a lot of training. There's a ton of Q&A, okay? So that's a mentor. A trainer is you're entering a new area of the business or you're entering the business and you need to take all the classes that are gonna help you ramp up your knowledge base. That's training. That's not coaching, it's training. And then there's your broker. What does your broker do? Well, your broker really is overall, your broker holds your license and takes on liability on your behalf, which can be a slightly scary thing, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So your bro broker's job really is compliance and that's not coaching either. So really what is a coach? Well, I, I talked about that briefly when I said in coaching, we help you move your business forward. We help you move your life forward. We help you build your business. So what is the roadmap to doing that? What is your business planning? What kind of accountability do we need there? Uh, are you in your comfort zone or out of your comfort zone? If you keep doing what you have been doing, are you going to move forward or not? What do you need to change to move forward? What do you need to do differently? What are your numbers? What does that mean? Am I, am I really focused on it? So coaching is a lot of accountability wrapped around all of these topics. It's not counseling, although occasionally it does feel like a little therapy because you can't completely separate the two. What does it cost? Well, it can be anywhere from free to costing you thousands of dollars a month. And is there a contract? Are you signing up for a one-off thing or are you signing up for working with this program or a particular coach for 12 months? So there's a, there's a lot, lot of uh, variability in there. Bottom line with costs is it should pay for itself. When I'm coaching with someone, I always tell them, I'm like, look, the money that you're spending with me with coaching should hands down be paying for itself within three to six months max. If it's not, we should fix that. We're doing the wrong things. There's individual coaching. There's group coaching. Sometimes group coaching is a good way to get started because it allows you to kind of dip your toe in the field. There's custom where it's very specific to you one-on-one. -on -one. There's program where you sign up for, for a particular coach or coaching program, and, and they're going to work you through a prescribed set of coaching modules. And then there's targeted. So there might be a coaching program specific for an agent who is ramping up with a short sales. So a custom programmed and targeted. Now, there are some uh, coaching programs out there that are really like event based where you're signing up oftentimes for free to go hear this awesome speaker. And it tends to be high energy and in just kind of a crowd environment. But the main thing with that is that you're going to get hit with the upsell uh, either throughout the program or right at the end of the program. And I have a tendency to get really excited at programs like that. And I want to whip out my checkbook and write everybody a check. But I've learned over the years to be very cautious and careful with those things. So knowing that if you're going to that type of event, that I can promise you, you should expect an upsell and just know going in whether you're in a position to spend money or not. Sometimes you need to spend money to make money. And that's an important uh, conversation uh, or uh, with, with coaching. So there's a, there's a few things to help you understand coaching. Honestly, there is so much online. You could go before someone, especially like a new agent, before they go in and they spend money on coaching, 
I tell them, it's like, look, at least have the discipline that over the next 60 days, you're spending a minimum of one hour a day simply uh, studying best practices on YouTube and, and develop that discipline. It's free, 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 free. So set yourself up, develop that discipline of for 60 days before you even consider spending money on coaching. Because for a new agent, look at all the, the training and mentoring that you really need to have in place before you're spending money. So just be careful out there. I'm happy to talk through any of it with you if you're considering coaching or just trying to figure out what the best option uh, for you might be. You can comment below or just private message me and I'm happy to have that conversation. I hope you have found this helpful. What is coaching?